for sure. For sure. In fact, I was just at the grocery store yesterday, and I and I buy the same thing every week, right? And then you're looking at the the uh, receipts, and you're like, wow. Why is this so much more expensive than it was even last month or the month before that? Well, they, there is real sticker shock at the grocery stores. Uh, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, as you said, up almost 7% year over year. This is an increase, uh, the largest increase, 12-month increase since 2008. Specifically, what are we talking about? Let me show you uh, what we're looking at here at the grocery stores. Uh, Meat is up 16% year over year. This is according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Steaks, 25% higher year over year. Eggs and fish up 8%. I'll turn the page here and you'll see baked goods also up 5%. Fruits and vegetables up 4%. Dairy products up almost 2%. And alcohol. 1.3% higher. Now, according to the Wall Street Journal, big food companies like General Mills and Kraft, they're planning more price increases to wholesalers on everything from mustard to cereal to jello. So you can imagine just across the board, we're going to be paying higher prices. The higher prices are to, why are they happening? Well, there's supply chain issues. They're being blamed on labor shortages affecting the trucking industry, on the, on the farmers, on livestock producers, higher transportation expenses because of rising oil prices and higher prices for animal feed as well. That all trickles down to the consumer. So we reach far and wide to try to figure out how can we save some money. Here's what we're being told if you're on a budget. First of all, plan ahead. Make a list that make sure you're not buying all of those extras. Maybe perhaps try to make two meals out of some ingredients. Don't throw away those leftovers. Compare costs. We're being told to look for sales. Use those in-store apps and digital coupons. Stock up while you can. Buy in bulk. Freeze those extras excess uh, meats, use shelf-stable products, buy vegetables that are in season. They're often cheaper when they're in season and limit those purchases of prepared food or frozen food. Of course, they're convenient, but they are always, almost always more expensive. So, Michaela, this is something that we're going to be following uh, in the next couple of weeks, months, because it's expected that these food prices are going to go up. In fact, tomorrow we're going to be talking to a butcher who's going to be showing us just how we can stretch some of the meats oh, that we bring in. Meats, great. especially Meats especially, you know, are some yeah, of the more expensive items sure. and are expected to really skyrocket uh, over the next couple of weeks. Well